Relationship advice. Updated, my fiancé of four years randomly claimed I abused her, and called the police. This came completely out of the blue. Original post. I honestly don't know what happened. A couple of days ago, my girlfriend who I lived with, left our apartment while I was at work, claimed to her family and mutual friends that I'd been physically abusing her, and blocked me on everything. I have no idea what's going on. There weren't any major problems in our relationship that I could see, and we just had consensual act last night. The very last time I spoke to her before all of this happened, she was perfectly fine, kissed me goodbye before I went to work, and everything was normal. Then I got a call from my dad toward the end of the day, asking me calmly if I've been hitting my girlfriend. I didn't know what he was talking about, and then she told me. I rushed home, and she had gotten all of her stuff and is staying either with her family, or a friend of hers. My Facebook account is blowing up, and I have no idea what to do. None of what is being said is true, and I don't know if someone is just playing a cruel joke on me. A few people even mentioned that the police were called, but I haven't heard anything as of yet. The last major argument we had was probably in February around Valentine's Day. We were going through some financial trouble, the stress got to us, and we were both getting upset with each other over petty, household things. She was my best friend, the person I could rely on to be there for me, and the person I would be there for always, no matter what. We were definitely planning on getting married. It wasn't a matter of if, it was a matter of when. Her family had basically accepted me into the family. I was close with both her mom and her dad. I only called them both once each, neither of them answered my calls. I called my, I don't know, ex? Just twice. No answer. She blocked me on every social media platform of hers that I know of. I asked a couple of friends, but they are being distant with me, just one word answers, or ghosting me. What the hell is happening here? We'd always been upfront and honest with each other, and our communication was stellar. Now for the top advice before the first update. Get a lawyer, my man. No physical contact without bringing someone else from now on. Record everything, etc. Maybe you can also call the police so that you can get a paper trail. She might hurt herself on purpose. This is a very dangerous situation. Get it through your head right now, that you can never 100% disprove vague abuse allegations, and that you will never be fully exonerated by your social circle, unless she voluntarily admits her allegations were fabricated, at some point in the future. Don't you dare initiate contact with her. That's what an abuser would do after all. Don't try to play the game of rumor control. It's a game for suckers. And you never win. Move forward with your life with increased caution and more sensitivity to red flags from mentally unstable women. You have one strike against you now. Your reputation may not survive a second. I speak from the heart and from experience. It's a difficult path you face sir. Godspeed to you. Sad, but probably the most realistic and compassionate response here. I would not run and hide, but I would not provoke the beast so to speak. We know what you know, and sometimes that's all we have to live with. That's why we have innocent before proven guilty. The only other thoughts I would add to this reply is, I would pursue this under the context of being truly malicious so as to not unknowingly self-sabotage, even if that person has doubts, which is understandable given the context, I would not do anything that would further give that person ammo to make or further add on to their previous lies. Separate your finances from hers completely, get your own house in order, call a lawyer, close any social media threads or conversations online that could be misrepresented. Maybe take a break from them, so as to not post anything you would soon regret. I pray for OP's sake, she comes to her senses and owns up to any lies, but I wouldn't put a whole lot of faith in that, or anything else she would have to say beyond this point. There are people who will always believe the woman, even when evidence presents itself to the contrary, it's just the emotionality behind the way society lives now. First update. Okay so this is going to be a weird update. I'm sorry if you guys thought this was going to be anything interesting. A friend came forward and told me, that apparently my dumb fiancé decided to play a prank on me. She had the bright idea of leaving the house for a couple of days, to set up a surprise birthday party for me set for this weekend. I don't know what the hell she was thinking, nor do I even really know the full story yet. She is not really the prank playing type, and I guess, thought this would be hilarious or something. It looks like a majority of those friends who were acting distant were in on it. After I started being upfront and honest with showing people my texts with her, as this sub suggested, one of them told her that this wasn't cool, and that if she didn't come clean, then he would. Well, she didn't come clean, and he came forward. 
I guess that's why nobody was answering their texts. Anyway, I texted her and I told her that I knew, asked her what the hell she was thinking. She started blowing my phone up apologizing. She said her prank just went too far, and spiraled out of control when it got to social media, and that she didn't know how to come clean when she realized that it crossed a line. She also said that she didn't mean to let it come out that I was abusing her, and that she just wanted to make it seem like she left me, and that the stuff was a rumor started by some other people who weren't in on her joke. I just didn't really respond to her. I left and went to my parents' house before she got back home. My family now thinks she's a freaking moron, so her relationship with them is ruined right before our marriage, so that's great. Our mutual friends are now split in half, with half of them thinking she's an idiot, and the other half feeling God knows what about the situation. I'm frankly embarrassed, and feel stupid for wasting everyone's time and dragging them into my relationship with my fiancé. I don't really know where to go from here. I don't know if I should call off the wedding, or postpone it, and try to work out what the hell went through her mind. I'm sorry if this isn't the ending to the story you were all hoping for. I'm having drinks and will be here all night feeling sorry for myself, and answering comments for as long as I'm awake with this Jameson. Now for more comments before the final update. Imagine if someone did this to your brother. Think about what you would say to your brother, then do whatever it is you would tell him yourself. Great advice, that I will definitely be keeping in mind for future situations. This. She's 28 for f sake. That's well and truly beyond old enough to know better than to do this crap. My first thought was, did she have a stroke or something? Now I'm thinking that subconsciously, this was her way of getting out of the marriage. Thinking the same thing, she is accidentally ruining the relationship. Who thinks ghosting your fiancé and blocking them social media is prank material? Even if she is that stupid, she should have all confessed when the allegations appeared. I don't think you can or should, try and recover the relationship from this destruction. Cancel engagement and explain to your close friends what actually happened. Audit the social media responses to find out who else needs to be excised from your life. Whoa! You didn't drag your friends into anything. She did. Time for her to make some apologies. First your parents. In person. Yeah, I doubt they'd ever want to see her again. Now for the final update. So firstly, Thanks for all of your input. I read and considered every single reply. First, I'll update you, then I'll tie up some loose ends from the comments in the previous post. I want to apologize for the bluntness of this post ahead of time, because despite your comments about me being calm and level-headed, I'm actually quite upset about the entire situation, and I feel like me sitting and thinking about it, is only marinating this anger and making it more juicy and flavorful. I spoke to her in person after I posted my update. From her perspective, her original idea was to make it look like she just got mad or something, grabbed a few things, and left to her friend's house, where she was going to have the party thrown. Her friend has a really nice house that's perfect for a 20 to 30 person get together. She was with her two friends, and made an off the cuff remark when her friend said, what are you going to say when he asks why? And she said, I don't know, I'll probably tell him that I feel like he got too serious when we had action, or something like that. Then her other friend who was with her, immediately took it to social media without the other two girls knowing, and then when they checked their phones later on that day, it was already a dumpster fire. I said great, all that is understandable. Just one question, why did you then block me and then refuse to answer my calls, because that seemed pretty freaking intentional to me. She said because she didn't want to throw her idiot friend under the bus, and thought it would all go away if she just threw the party, and she hadn't realized how far it all went so quickly. I thanked her for telling me, and then I called off the wedding entirely. She cried, I cried, it was a goddamn mess. She asked where we go from here. I told her I don't know. I don't even know if the relationship is over yet, but I know that the engagement is over, and that if I decide to give it another chance, at the bare minimum, we need to build my trust for her from the ground up, if not the entire relationship. And now I have to decide if I want that. Do I want to spend another four years being undecided? If I'm being honest with myself, I imagine it taking another couple of years before I can trust her again. Do I want to get married and start thinking about having children at 35? 36? Close to 40? I told her that I have a lot to think about. I spoke to her dad last night. We shared a case of beer, and had a conversation that lasted about 5 hours. My ex hasn't spoken to anyone, and has basically been locked up in her old bedroom for now. She's been crying a lot. 
I do believe that she's genuinely remorseful about all of this, which complicates things. Her dad caught wind of the situation on Facebook but learned what was really going on maybe like an hour later. He'd gotten my calls, but hadn't returned them because he called his daughter first. She told him, and he just didn't know what to say to her. He told me that she's not truly stupid, but that she has a history of sometimes not thinking about things before she says them, and the impact her offhand remarks can have. He said this is the worst it's ever snowballed, but she's had situations in the past where she says something stupid or insulting, and doesn't realize the impact of what she said, until hours later when the other person blows up over it. So that's it. I still have a lot to think about. I know a lot of you guys are telling me that I have no balls for not literally tossing her out into traffic and laughing about it, or something weird like that, but you have to understand that I still love her, and have loved her for a few years now. Right now, I'm leaning toward moving on, but you're going to have to empathize with me here. As for my reputation, nobody thinks I'm an abuser. It's firmly out there now. Her reputation took a much more significant and lasting hit. I haven't lost any friends, except for the idiot social media girl, whose reputation also took a severe hit, nobody called the cops, all the other posts about it have been deleted, everything is good. There's no real need for me to get a lawyer and sue anybody. My family agrees with a lot of you. They're two seconds away from slapping me upside me head for not immediately kicking her to the curb. Just give me some time. I'm not going to make another update post, because I've already wasted too much of your time with this BS but maybe I'll just update this post in a few days after I've decided what to do. Now for the closing comments. So, she was more worried about the reputation of her friend, than of the reputation of the man she wanted to marry and spend the rest of her life with? I'm sorry, but if that alone doesn't speak volumes about this girl, then I don't know what to tell you. I wish you good luck in the future, but if it was me, I would move on. This is not what I would want from a life partner. I think this is the most important result. In my eyes she should have jumped all over her friend, made her apologize and move on. The person she is going to marry should stack way above a random idiot friend. Fail OP, this will happen again. So, let me get this straight, all this pain and stress that she inflicted on you and herself was to protect an idiot friend? At least you know how your relationship will play out in the future. Based on your story there are three major problems with your ex-fiance. One. She would rather throw you under the bus than a friend. 2. When faced with a problem she will push her head in the sand and hope it goes away. 3. When it all blows up in her face she will act like a child and cry in her room. I had to double check ages because that is not how a 28 year old should act. Marriage is a partnership and she does not sound like a reliable partner. The decision is ultimately yours and I wish you luck. Maybe it's further down than I read, in someone else's comments, but. If this had not blown up in regard to abuse, it's also disturbing that she wanted you to think for a weekend that she had left you, only to then reveal, a surprise party. What a terrible thing to put someone through. Also, some are saying she didn't have bad intent. However, not having bad intent includes proactively thinking about how your actions will affect someone else, not just not purposely trying to hurt them. You definitely have a lot to think about. Best of luck, at least this craziness happened before marriage and before kids. So your choice, while hard either way, is easier now than it could be. I actually think you handled this perfectly, and with a lot of respect for her and yourself. Props to you, OP. You seem like an awesome guy. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.